Hey guys, this is Reggie coming to you from the NYC, that's Queens, New York. And I just want to jump on here really quick. As you can see, the title of this particular live is, This One Little Thing Is Hurting Your Business. Would you, want to do, would you like to know what it is? Uh, a year ago, I was really, really struggling in my business. Uh, trying to generate leads, trying to get people to, to join my opportunity. And I was just struggling, struggling on Facebook tremendously. But recently, I was on a, a webinar and I learned something very important that I think you guys, that particularly if you're in network marketing and direct sales, you need to know. And it's a very, very, very small and simple thing that we're not doing in many cases. And I see this with a lot of other partners and other network marketers and also with a lot of just people on Facebook in general. So you're probably curious and you want to know, what is it that could be hurting my business that's so small and simple to do? Well, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you know if your follow button is on or not? Now, on Facebook, you know, you can friend someone, but you also have a follow button. And in business, this is very, very important because most experienced network marketers know that you only have so many friends. So they keep their friend space open or they go through their list and they try not to max out their friend space because they want to have and build good relationships with people who are, are customers or, or clients or other business partners, people that they can learn from, mentors and the such. But if your follow button is on, you can increase the number of people that are following you and you can have more relationships. Why is this is why is this important? One, it frees up your friend space. So you're not using up all your friend space with people who are not engaging with you, people who are not active on Facebook, and people that you cannot serve generally for you and your business. Two, it gives you, having your follow button on, it also allows other professionals to come in and, and follow you so they can see your progress, they can see what you're doing, how you're doing it, and you can develop a relationship. I've recently learned that it's more important, it's more important to, for me to first tap someone on the shoulder by hitting their follow button. And by that, it helps to bring them to me as opposed to me following or, or, or going after somebody. This is a part of attraction marketing. So what you guys want to do is you want to turn on and make sure that your follow button is on. How do you do that? Well, it's very simple. All you got to do is just go over to YouTube and put in how do, I, how do I turn on my follow button and you'll find very, very comparable information. It's a one, two, three process. It's very easy to do. But if you're in network marketing, this is vital. This is very important. You need to have your follow button on because other real professionals don't always want to friend you right away. They want to follow you and develop a relationship that way. And it also, by having your follow button on, it helps with Facebook to see in the algorithm that people are following you. Okay, so I just wanted to share that little tip with you. Uh, make sure that you have your follow button on. You can go over to YouTube and you can find content there that will help you and instruct you and show you how to make sure that your, your follow button is on. Secondly, starting November 27th, I am doing a free... Facebook Live Challenge for network marketers. And we're going to be concentrating and focusing on attraction marketing. Now, I know a lot of people here, a lot of different things, and all of us are trying to build our businesses. But one of the major things that we're struggling is we're struggling in attracting people to our page, getting more eyeballs on our office, and getting people to join our opportunities. So join me no, November 27th. Uh, in the five-day Facebook challenge that I'm putting on. If you're interested in that, comment I am in the comments. And I'll add you to a private group. We'll, for five days, we'll have intense training and lessons showing you how to use Facebook to create your audience and attract more people and get more eyeballs on what you're doing. And after that, the following week, there is something that's going on that's going to be absolutely amazing. For the first time ever, 
there is going to be a giant summit, a giant attraction marketing summit with some of the largest names that you ever, ever seen or heard about in the industry, okay? And you can be a part of it. So I want you guys to join me on the, on the 27th. Come on in. Let's get this information. Let's all learn together about how to use attraction marketing on Facebook so we can get more eyes on our business and get more people joining us in our opportunities, okay? If, you, if you're interested, you can inbox me or just comment below. I am and I will send you the information and I will add you to the private group so you can be in position starting Monday the 27th and I'll be sh do, shooting more videos and sharing more content about that in the up and coming days, okay? So on that note, I want you guys to have a great day. Make sure that your follow button is on your page, particularly if you're a network marketer, even if you're not, because you want people to follow you. Facebook is a place of engagement. You want to build your audience if you're in network marketing. And this is a key thing that's hurting a lot of people's business because some of you don't even have your, your, the ability on your Facebook page to even leave you a comment. So if you're in business, make sure that you people can comment that your, that your Facebook page is, is public and that you have your follow button on. This should help you to increase your audience overall in your business, okay? Just wanted to share that with you. Have a great, great, great Tuesday, and I'll talk to you real soon.